Before we get this video going, we want to let y'all know back to school sweet deal on LucianoTV.com. 25% of your entire order, you have to enter the promo code LucianoTV when you're checking out. And you're going to get 25% of your entire order for the whole month of August. But we just passed 67,000 subscribers on YouTube, so I can't leave my subscribers hanging, man. I gotta upload that content. Yeah, that I'm talking about. And also, we wanna send prayers and love to everybody in El Paso and Dayton, Ohio. And we gotta stop this senseless violence. The FBI need to do something about these white supremacist terrorists instead of trying to go after minorities that are out here trying to get some money. We ain't out here killing people, shooting up schools and shooting up malls and shooting up Walmarts. We just out here trying to get some money to feed our families and y'all locking us up. But meanwhile, y'all got these crazy uh, little white kids shooting up the whole damn Walmart, man. Y'all need to go find these these little uh, racial social sites these kids be on leaving their little manifestos and go lock them up, man. Because we ain't out here doing this killing. We just trying to get to the money. And I just wanted to share some exciting news with y'all, man. I got my driver's license back. For those that know me know that, man, I ain't had my driver's license in years. I ain't had a driver's license. Every time I try to get my driver's license back, I end up getting it suspended again and having hella surcharges and just never had a, I was supposed to get an SR-22, never got an SR-22. Long story short, I finally got my driver's license back, man. And I'm proud of myself. 38 years old and I finally got my driver's license. Yes, I've been riding around with no license, my bad. But I got one now. License and insurance, fully covered, baby. What happens was I would drive all, all over Texas when I'd be on the road, driving all over Texas, doing shows or going to uh, record stores, driving off CDs. And I would get these tickets, speeding tickets and insurance tickets and just tickets out of town all over Texas. And I would never pay them because they were out of town. I wouldn't go to the court out there and. I wouldn't pay them, you know what I'm saying? So I had tickets all over Texas spread around. And that's why my license was suspended. One day I was like, man, I, I came across some money. I was like, man, let me go and pay all these tickets, all, all these surcharges. It was like five, $6,000 worth of surcharges. And I paid it all. This was this was probably like two, two years ago. I paid them all off. But some of those tickets was driving with no insurance. So in Texas, if you pay a ticket for driving with no insurance, your license is automatically suspended for a year. So since I paid those surcharges thinking I was doing something good to get my license back, they automatically suspended my license for a year because some of those tickets was driving with no insurance. Sometimes I went to jail for driving with no uh, suspended license. I done went to jail about three or four times for driving with no suspended, driving with a suspended license. But this last time, luckily they didn't take me to jail, they just gave me a ticket for driving with an invalid driver's license. And because of that, they suspended my license again for another year. So a couple days ago, checked on the website and it says, your license is valid, Mr. Garcia. So I'm in there like swimwear, man, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I just left the barbershop, shout out to Mike. Ace was supposed to meet me there at 10 in the morning and his ass was still asleep, he wasn't there. So Mike faded me up. Shout out to Mike, Clipper Boys Barbershop. If you're in Houston, they doing a uh, school, free school haircut, they doing free haircuts this Sunday at the barbershop for all the kids. If you need a back to school haircut, they're doing free haircuts. Clipper Boys Barbershop, y'all go check them out. It's about noon, man, and I haven't ate all day, so I'm on my way home. Hopefully Kelly got something cooking when I get there, man. Hey, 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 hey! Where everybody at? They still sleeping? Yep. <laughs> I like your haircut. 
Thank you. Gigi had an accident yesterday. She was trying to come, she was trying to climb up her uh she has a little step stool in her room. She was trying to climb up it and she fell and it sliced her back. You wanna show him your back? No. Yeah. She got a big old scrape on her back. Turn around. Ah! Oh, I know that hurt. What is that red stuff? That's just the blood smeared or what? Damn, man. Oh, it's, she scraped herself. Oh, yeah, but there's like it's smeared. Not, it's not smeared. It's like her first layer of tissue. Oh. Woo! She was crying all day yesterday. That's why we didn't vlog yesterday. It hurts so bad. I couldn't go to sleep. You couldn't go to sleep because she was crying? I had to go get on the boys, man. It's already 12.30, they still sleeping there. Kingston and Elijah up all night playing video games. And they forgot to take one of them trash bags out. But I'm finna eat this pork chop right here. Boneless pork chop. Oh, and some homemade beans cooking. All ready. What's up, you guys? And so, I don't know if y'all see a difference, but I did my little uh, hair brown, so, um, yeah. The struggle is real. I was really trying to dye it light brown, but that didn't turn out good, so I had to run to the store again and then buy me some darker brown because, for some reason, like, my roots caught on real good, but the rest of my hair was still kind of, like, in the dark side, like, blackish, so, yeah. And I would have dyed it black again, but I just didn't want to do that to my new growth. So I dyed it a dark brown. And I'm actually loving the look. This is why. I literally just cleaned and there is a mess. And look at Houston. In the fridge. You proud of me, baby? Yep. 38 years old. He finally got his record clean and straight slay. Ah! So anyways, um, I am going to make some pollo, some arroz, and I have chato beans in the making right now as we speak. You guys, summer is almost <laughs> I literally just cleaned my whole entire kitchen, and my sink is back to being dirty, you guys. Do y'all see that? Stop. Move. Come here. Not, not Come that. here. No, no, no. So he's going to turn the camera because we don't let him play inside the fridge. You all right. You all right. You all right. You all right. Gigi's such a big girl. She's over here making her a grilled cheese sandwich. Fun fact, I taught her how to make this one time and she's probably burned only one. O is for octopus and orange. Oh. <laughs> I can eat this every day. I didn't even know she was making this when I was gone. They're bomb. And what's funny, is that when I came, I was at the car wash earlier before I went and got a haircut, I was at the car wash. And while I was at the car wash, I was reading a book. And the name of the book was The Simple Path to Wealth by J.L. Collins. He tells the story of these two boyhood friends. They were friends when they was young, they were real close, but then they grew up and they went apart. And then later on in life, they met, met up with each other again. One had become a monk and the other one became a, a rich, minister to the king the rich minister to the king told a friend that was a monk if you learn to cater to the king i can get you a good job and you don't have to live off beans and rice and then the monk told him if you can learn to live off beans and rice you won't have to cater to the king and then when i come home baby got some beans cooking you know what i'm saying she gonna so make basically i'm the monk and you're the other guy yeah i need to learn how to live off beans and rice because we'll be spending way too much money. Moral of the story, humble yourself. I need to do a no restaurant challenge for 30 days. Because I'll be spending too much money on going out to eat. So what we decided to do is, because when you stop vlogging and then you try to start vlogging, it's hard to get back in the swing of things. And it's easier just to keep it going and non-stop it. So we're going to do a 90 day challenge, vlogging every day for 90 days straight. <laughs> so I've been trying to get Lecky to sit down and do like the never have I ever challenge or like 
um, just little episodes of us just sitting down, having fun, playing a game. And he is just not with it. So type in the comments below and let him know that it is okay to every now and then <laughs> post one of these videos. I want to do like a night routine, a morning routine. Y'all let me know. Do y'all want to watch? We already done a night routine. We did a night routine? Yeah. We ain't doing no damn night routine. Oh, a morning routine. That was like a morning routine whenever the kids were at school. So the celebration is about to be over. Hi, what? We haven't um, done like a morning routine. Yeah, it, it, it gets it gets hard whenever you don't vlog often. So we gotta get up every morning and turn our camera on from now on. So make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and cheer us on, motivate us to vlog for y'all. Because man. I like when that YouTube be making it rain on me, man. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about what we're doing for the next 30 days? We not going to no restaurants for the next 30 days. Why? We're doing a no restaurant challenge for the next 30 days. For what? Huh? For what? Because I blew too much money last month you going to restaurants. Well, Kingston, you know, Kingston can go because um, I need my fast food at least. Well, you better use your new little debit card you got. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Did it come in the mail? And you go check them out. All right. Also, anyway, that's what we're doing for the next 30 days. We're doing a no restaurant challenge for the next 30 days. And also, we're doing a 90 day vlog challenge where we vlog every day for the next 90 days. All right. You with it? The rest of the year. No, 90 days. I'm going to need a break after 90 days. Oh, you ain't about that. So today's August what? Today is August 6th. We're vlogging every day till November 6th. Get ready. Get ready uh, to see our faces. All right, yeah. Houston, get ready to see this camera for the next whoa, 90 days, boy. Whoa, what are you doing? Whoa. Hi, Houston. Done what? All right, we're outside. You know, we have those mailbox. We don't have mailboxes. At it's not that far. Luckily, we live, like, right next to it. I mean, these guys right here. Oh, can't get their address. Never mind. Um, well, the people that live right here, they live, like, right next to it. All they have to do is, like, turn the corner and something right in the middle of the street. But we we're just like one, two houses down, so it's not that bad. Hee 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 hee. Well, which one's ours? Eight, thirteen, or twelve? Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> that was so off. Let me see. Steven Garcia. Let's get the camera focused. Okay, folks, Kingston Gars. I got my check book. I mean, I'm gonna check my, my card. Finally. I've been wanting it forever. Um, see, we've got capital, all oh, that, that, that new card, so. Hmm. Oh, is this mine? It says money? Oh, look. Oh, Here, Houston, go messing some stuff up in the middle of our broadcast. <laughs> see, this oh, kind of stuff we gotta be dealing with all the time. Let's see, what it say? What it say? It says Kingston Gars. Kingston Garcia. You're looking at Capital One Monday. Put in my pocket. You need a wallet. There goes your flower pot. We need to get them little things that, that lock I the know, cabinets. He always breaking some stuff. Go in there. We'll be back with y'all. We're having some technical difficulties on the set right now of Luciano TV. And we are live. We are live. Yes, yes, yes. We're cooking chicken fajitas, cooking with Kingston. So what I'm doing right now is just basically cutting all the chicken um, for Kingston. That way he can just take over and, cook, and it. cook it. And I am reheating my beans right now. I'm making rice. So those are our sides for today's meal, for today's dinner. I hope everybody had a great day. Well, I'm looking at these seasonings, to which one to put in this chicken, but um, I don't even know which one to put. I got tomato. It's already marinated. Now you put the salt all in there. Like so. All right, that's enough, that's enough salt. What is this right here? Rice? Yeah, rice. Beans and chicken. It's mm -hmm. going down. And no restaurant challenge for 30 days. We'll be back with you. No, you know what? We are the restaurant. That's right. We Cooking are, with Kingston. We are the restaurant. We don't need no restaurant. <laughs> Salute, Sergeant. Is dinner ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I want some olive.
Thank you, baby. Thank you, Mom. All right, man. We're finna eat this. God is grace. God is good. Let us thank. Thank you. Thank you for the food. Amen. Appreciate all the love and support. You're watching Luciano TV. We'll be back with y'all tomorrow. All right, guys. So I finished making dinner. I fed everybody. I served everybody. And here I am having ice cream. So bon appetit to y'all. If y'all are having dinner and watching this, uh, make sure that you stay positive no matter what you're going through. Don't forget you have to manifest things into existence and before we end the vlog i wanted to come through with a quick shout out so huge shout out to queen b thank y'all so much for watching make sure y'all comment subscribe like this video and also share it um we love y'all so much make sure you stay tuned 90 day challenge is on no restaurants for 30 days is on we'll be back tomorrow